you get it if you're a focus minded. The idea is that although it's true that the vast majority of wikis never attract a community, despite the fact that these wikis all share lots of ingredients, you know, things that Wikipedia did, they provide us with the, um, there's an opportunity here, which can come from comparing wikis that are more successful along this metric, the ones that are out here with 100 contributors, or maybe even thousands of contributors somewhere off this map, there's a few of them, with the large majority of them. Sorry, I'll skip you. I'd like to take off, take off my, uh, my cover. He's, he's responsible for the, for the majority of the presentation, so if I heard him, it's a problem. Uh, uh, but we compare the, these very successful projects with the large majority of projects that never really get off the ground. And we can do it along. This is just one dimension of success. There are other dimensions which we might look at. We, but, but by taking advantage of, of, of the, we can, we can take advantage of the fact that there's not just Wikipedia out there. And we've certainly taken advantage of Wikipedia by studying it over and over. And we can study all of the other wikis. Um, and we can compare them because these wikis are sometimes more and less like each other. They differ in other ways that we can take advantage of to help understand some of these dynamics. We can understand not just the how, but also the why, right? And that's sort of what I mean by uh, wiki ecology. I mean, this is sort of an abuse of the term ecology in some sense, or, or maybe not. Uh, uh, but, but it's an ecology in the sense, in the sense that uh, sociologists use this in terms of like organizational ecology. It's a way of looking at, pop, instead of just looking within organizations, we can look across many organizations. Or instead of just looking within wikis, we can look across wikis. So that's what we're talking about here. Through doing that, we can also test a set of explanations for important, different types of important outcomes. We can, we have lots of theories which have come from studying the We can test those by looking at the way that at an organizational level, um, some organizations can act, you know, in some, in some ways and other ways act differently. Um, we can identify causes in ways that I've suggested for a whole bunch of different things. Growth in terms of editor base is one. But we can also look at retention, survival of wikis. We can look at uh, other outcomes like uh, we'll talk about um, certain kinds of governance infrastructure um, or governance, like measures of governance within projects. Um, and uh, we're going to spend the rest of this talk uh, showing you uh, what we're going to call a series of postcards that do this. Um, in this in this data, we're in this work. We're, almost all the data that we're using is from Wikia. We're taking advantage of the fact that Wikia has published lots of data on all their tens of thousands of wikis. Um, they've slowed down a little bit because they have a lot and it's taking up a lot of space. But of course, there's also a whole. But we also use some data from Wikipedia wikis in here as well. So uh, with that, I will. Uh, I will. Uh, yeah, you want to say I'll well, pass it up to Aaron. I think you already covered most of this. Um, no, we shouldn't do this, I guess. Yeah, yeah, OK. You go ahead. OK, so, so right, we're going to present what we, what we call a set of postcards. We have a little postcard on yeah, yeah, postcard. Uh, um, uh, And uh, postcards of ongoing research. And we're calling them postcards because they're short and, uh, again, like little sort of lightning talks um, about different pieces of work that we've been working on that are examples of this kind of ecology. Um, we call them postcards because they involve more pictures than words. And we are uh, emphasizing sort of big picture concepts. Um, a few sort of disclaimers. These are these are all uh, uh, these are this is all sort of unpublished results from very early stage projects. Um, these are not papers. They may or may not become papers. You can tell us if we're totally off base, and that might help. Um, we don't completely trust the results yet, and we should take these data facts. But we're going to try to summarize the substance of the work without getting into the details of the numbers and the statistics. Although all of this work is quantitative statistical work. Uh, and uh, we also said that we're not the only people doing what we call wiki ecology. I'm going to start you some stuff. We definitely will put in that category. There's other people who have done uh, uh, great work of this type, um, uh, some of them here. And of course, we're also looking for feedback either now or later. So that's all very good. All right. So, postcards. Postcard number one. Basically, the, the first study that we're going to talk about here, and I'm going to start moving a little bit faster, so I apologize in advance. This is all in the interest of trying to leave time at the end. Um, but yeah, please come up and talk to us about this afterwards if you're interested. Um, postcard number one is really testing a set of theories that come from studies of social movement organizations. And it's this idea that there might be resources out there that movements compete for. Um, for example, a big case in the case of voluntary movements is volunteer time and effort. So there's this idea that volunteer time might be this finite resource that there's only so much of out there. And that wikis, in fact, if you imagine wikis on sort of the same topic, for the case of this little couple of slides I'll talk about, uh, let's assume we're talking about like Harry Potter wiki and all of, in Wikia, and all of the pages on Wikipedia in English, since Harry Potter wiki is in English, about Harry Potter. And so you can imagine that this, these two communities might, might compete against each other for time, effort, edits, and then you might see something like, um, you know, 
we might see something like when editing in Harry Potter Wiki goes up, we might see editing on the same set of pages about the same topic in Wikipedia go down, stay the same, or go up. Right? And depending on what we see there, we might be able to conclude something about whether this idea about competition is real and whether we should worry about it and think about it um, when we're designing new communities, or whether there's something else going on. So we started to do this, and uh, so far we've got only some preliminary results. But we see some things that are really exciting in this case. We see a strong positive association between edits across topics across wikis, right? So if Dario's editing Harry Potter wiki, um, and and he, his, he contributes a lot there. He, he himself might actually be doing more contributions to Wikipedia pages about Harry Potter as well. Um, so, and we, so as a result, we find a little support for this idea that volunteer time is this finite resource that wiki communities at least are really competing for. Um, and it seems like the thing that's really going on here is that what determines the patterns of contribution more accurately is whether there's a new Harry Potter movie or a book out. Right? Changes in supply of, around interest, right? Volunteer interest is not this thing that's sort of constant out there in the world. You might be more, there are other things that are acting on you to determine whether you're going up and down in that kind of space. Um, and so, like I said, this is true even for users like Dario who edit every wiki everywhere. Um, and it doesn't, you know, even, and that's even true in periods when, say, a couple of months after the most recent Harry Potter movie when nobody cares anymore. Dario is still editing one more than the other if he's going to both of them. So thanks for doing that, Dario. Um, all right, postcard number two. Are wikis inherently democratic? Now this one can get a little charged. Um, and I want to emphasize that the D in, democ in democratic there is small. Right? I'm not talking about democracy like at a nation state political system level. I'm talking about democracy within organizations, within communities, within smaller groups of people where you can think about whether processes for making decisions are participatory, egalitarian, whether more people are involved or not. And so we set up to sort of consider whether this is the case or not within wikis. And you know, the reason I say it's charged is, you know, there are people out there who, uh, oh, did we lose the top? Oh, we lost the top. So this is the page of the Wiki Partido in Mexico, which is not people from like wiki making communities per se, but they really believe that wiki wiki-style organizations is going to produce real democracy. Um, the Spanish translation there is really complicated. Um, so, you know, the emphasis here is that this idea that wikis might somehow be true forms of democratic egalitarian participation um, is something that we think is worth testing and comparing in actually existing large wikis, for example. Um, so, we look to see whether as wikis grow, and this is looking at a large subset of the wiki wikis. And in fact, we're actually looking at just the top 1%, the wiki 1%, um, which turns out to be about 800 wikis. Um, we look to see whether the measures of oligarchy and inequality increase or decrease, right? We, you could phrase it either way, but we just chose this right, this slide. Um, and, oh god, we lost the top of our slide. Well, the important story, I can tell you what the important story is here, right? What we've got is that um, for all of these graphs, we're looking at as wikis grow larger, right? As they're attracting more contributors, we're looking at what happens in the probability of adding new administrators, um, what happens in the number of admin reverts of people with registered accounts, and what happens in terms of the concentration of contributions, right? So let's use Dario again. Uh, if Dario makes 500 contributions to the wiki one week and I make five, the concentration is high. If we both make 500 next week, the concentration is low. Right, so that's if the concentration is down here, that means that we're both contributing equally, and if it's up here, we're contributing less equally. Um, and what we see as these wikis grow is that we see the probability of adding new admins drops to very close to zero as soon as you get away from the early stages of the project. The probability of admins reverting contributions from registered editors, and we know there are lots of problems with these measures, they're super coarse, um, and we're working on making the analysis better on particularly these dimensions. Um, but the probability of admin, or not the probability, the number, the predicted number of reverts from admins um, is going up. And the predicted concentration of, of edits across the community is going up as well. Just quick check, this is not over time, right? This is just looking at a snapshot. Uh, this is, this is, this is, um, this is, this is, uh, the short answer is, it is time. This is controlling for time. It's, it's looking for, uh, it's controlling for time and it's, and it's looking for uh, the, the size of the community. But if we do, but, but we see very similar effects for time controlling for the size of the community as well. Right. It's just the problem with these models is that, I mean, we can show you a gigantic It looks, it looks very similar either way. And maybe you should look at the gigantic carbon regression table with us later. But um, the, uh, 
it, it, it's, it's hard to sort of hold a bunch of regression coefficients in your head, um, it turns out. So yeah, we got another question. Yeah, in, in the first draft, the, the first up there, the protocol says with time, as it grows, new, uh, new administrators enter less. That's the, that's that's the, the finding. That's the finding. Again, yeah, seriously, if you're interested in this and you want to read, we actually have a draft of the paper that talks about this, and we're totally happy to share it. So come find us. Our email addresses are on the last slide. Um, okay. Postcard number three. All right. So what is the effect of requiring logins to edits? Right? This one, oh boy, this one's really charged. Anonymous editors, are they good or bad? Um, it's not quite so simple as all that, but what we've taken advantage of in this case is looking at um, the fact that in Wikia wikis, administrators can flip on or off the ability to allow anonymous edits, right? So um, the, the, the nice thing is that what this creates is this creates windows of time where you can compare people before, immediately before, and immediately after that flip gets switched. And we can see whether at the level of contributions across this wiki, um, for many wikis, right, um, whether having anonymous edits, how that, how that affects the, um, the rates of contribution and the patterns of contribution over the rest of the community. So, um, okay, I already said that. So compare wikis before and after turning off anonymous <coughs> edits. Sorry for the repetition. Um, here's the punchline. Um, and this one I should really emphasize. This is like fresh out of, like, I think Mako ran this analysis on the airplane. Um, <laughs> so, um, but the point is that this is really preliminary and we're still working on this one. Um, uh, but so far, right, what we find we see that when a wiki turns off anonymous editing, you get a large decrease in the total edits, a large decrease in the reverted edits, no change in average edits from logged in users, that's really interesting, um, and no change in the number of active editors. So for better or worse, so far it looks like it might be kind of a rough day for anonymous editing. Um, Is that total reverted edits or proportion? Yeah, uh, he ran that one, so you uh, should ask him. Uh, it, it, complicated answer. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Uh, the, the answer, the answer is both. Uh, yeah. The, right. So <laughs> <laughs> the answer is yes. The answer is proportion. Yes. It's all in there, right? Like it's all. We want proportion, and the answer is yes. Uh, we can run the model both ways. Well, let's talk and about it. It'll come back the yeah. same. Yeah. Um, so. All right. But anonymous users don't do On the basis of what we've seen here, it doesn't seem that way. Immediately before and after, right? So this is actually a really important point, right? Um, what, when we're doing this kind of analysis where we're looking at a narrow window of time, right before and right after, we're not saying that over the course of the lifetime of a system of projects or a community, you might not be able to build in structures that support anonymous editing in an effective way. What we're saying is that when you have a community where there's one set of expectations that anonymous editing is allowed and then it goes away, what you see over the next few days or weeks are these kinds of outcomes on Wikia, right? That's important. Um, and you see, and also emphasize this, this, this is on average, right? Like you see, you see, like sometimes you see huge increases in the amount of editing, sometimes you see less than the average effect. And this is part of the benefit of looking at it on, on the sort of organizational, the, at the level of the organization, right? But it also, like, you know, uh, but you do see, a, you do see a lot of variation. And I'm happy to talk more about this very soon. Um, uh, I mean, I'll just say that, that uh, as a way of sort of concluding. Um, uh, yeah, and I just want to say that, 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 that uh, you know, these, 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 you know, we presented here are like sort of more or less sort of cooked approaches, but they're all sort of, uh, they're the, the cooked examples, but they're all, they're all sort of examples of how, uh, you know, something that we think a number of people are doing, but that we really want to encourage, and there's this question of how to why, by using this sort of ecological approach to thinking about wikis, uh, um, and to understand why some wikis than others. Um, it also moves towards explanations of the characteristics that help you know, determine whether and why wikis grow, attract contributors, remain active over long periods of time, um, you know, so on and so forth. I think that uh, an important thing is, is that you know, the, the, the foundation is like uh, been hesitant to create new projects, new like new Wikimedia projects, right? There hasn't been a new one in for Wikidata, I guess, is the, is the new one. Um, but before that, there hasn't been one. What? Wikipedia. 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 W
some of these dynamics so that we can come back in. I mean, that's some of the, the ideas here is applying this research to thinking about creating new projects, um, either in the foundation or outside, to help sort of, and also to help guide questions of future design interventions and community initiatives. Uh, and it's, uh, uh, we think that uh, it's important to be careful. Um, it's extremely important to uh, think about, you know, if you're a researcher, <coughs> and, uh, you know, if, if we don't, if we're not sure, we have the luxury of going and doing more research. But if we're sort of building a community and it doesn't work, we may not have another chance to do it. And so thinking about uh, how and when to apply these things is an important challenge. So, uh, I mean, that would be sometimes for questions that are good. Like that. No, that's great. Just a reiteration, like, we won't have enough time to talk about all of these issues that hopefully provoke some ideas and discussion and responses already. So please, seriously, do follow up. Um, the conversations in a conference like this often lead to research ideas that we haven't thought of and um, lead to the inspiration for future projects. So it's really exciting for us and fun to find the game folks about the projects. So thanks.
So I remember at that point, we were looking for data sets to try and answer this question. If that was a major issue we were facing. So I wonder what you guys thought about this problem uh, and how generalized this is. Let's keep the other questions. Let's keep going. I'm thinking that maybe and trying to, uh, to understand why the wikis are working and, and growing, you are looking at the place. Maybe you shouldn't look at the variables like you did, but maybe you should look like some projects has to find the niche. Wikipedia found that there is all niche, and some wikias also find niche. If, if there's niche, the project is going to grow. If there's no, no, is the niche still? Uh, it will not.